Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Pit Lockery Railway Station on the Highland Main Line to Inverness. That way is looking towards Inverness, and that way is looking down towards Stirling and Perth. This line and station opened in 1863, and ever since then, Pit Lockery has been a place where people come to visit on day trips, on holidays. It's got lots of nice hotels. It's a really nice place to go and visit. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to walk up the pass of Killy Cranky because beyond here, the railway goes through the narrow wooded pass of Killy Cranky and so does the A9 road and I've done it on the train many times and a couple of times on the road, never done it on foot. So my plan is to go up there and explore it. So let's just have a walk through the station. Look at this, there's a really nice old drinking fountain here. That was cast, it's cast iron. If you have a look at it, there's a heron on top. That's a, I don't normally get this close to a heron. And um, you can see flowers as you go down and right down at the bottom. There's some lizards. So that was cast in 1880 by Walter McFarlane and Co. They were a company that made many cast iron ornamental features around Scotland. It's got the whiskey barrel train, which I think every Scott Rail station has a whiskey barrel train. On the front, on a main line, picture of a Jones, a good steam loco, which that locomotive 103 is preserved. I'd love to see her running again. She'd make a great uh, mainline performer or even just run on heritage lines, it'd be great. Attractive waiting room over there, Lattice footbridge. To me, this is a perfect railway station. You've got just everything you could need. No ticket barriers, you can walk. It's actually a public footpath, walk over the bridge and out the other side by the signal box, which takes you down to a dam. If you want to see that video, have a look at the link on screen now. There's a bookshop at the railway station, so you can come and buy a book to read on the train. You've got a waiting room and a staff ticket office. So it's, to me, it's a perfect railway station. And you get, it's not too busy, but you get interesting trains passing through. You get HSTs, you get the Caledonian Sleeper, and you get a few good trains. So it's, to me, it's a perfect station. I always love to see a lattice footbridge. I'm going to the town centre now. I'm going to have a look there, and then we're going to begin our walk up to the Pass of Killycranky. This is Pit Lockery Town Centre. Not a huge amount. I want to show you here, just to give you an idea of the shop size, so you've got the canopies, so it has that very sort of um, touristy town feel. It reminds me a bit of perhaps uh, Landrin Dodd Wells in Wales, although that's a spa town and this isn't, but it has that feel. Lots of people here come here to visit and um, explore and see the area around, which is what we're going to do. We're going to keep walking up here and then we're going to find the footpath that will take us onto the pass to Killycrank. I'm now out of Pit Lockery Town Centre, as you can see. I'm in the woods, but you might be able to hear the sound of traffic. That's because, well, firstly, down there is Loch Falski. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Apologies if I'm not. Above us, there's a bridge. This is the A9 Road Bridge, which goes right across the lock. We're going to go across the lock on this footbridge here. So we'll be on the other side. So this is, at this point, it's the River Tummel. But later on, up at Killycranky, it's the River Gary. So, so we're going to go to the point where the river, the confluence of the River Gary and River Tumble. So we come down to here. It says the bridge is unsafe for jumping. I wasn't planning to do that. That way goes to Killycranky. I think that's going to be my route back. And obviously that way goes to Pit Lockery. So we're going to make our way onto the bridge right now and um, have a look at this view here. Footbridge and the road bridge, quite spectacular. And... Uh, well, look at that, that's amazing. That's looking upstream. So this is probably the, the lot created by the hydroelectric power station, which I said I did a video on yesterday. So you know, to see that, have a look at the screen now. Look at that, that's amazing. And then on this side, the bridge somehow quite nicely frames the view. So there's a hotel over there. So this is yeah, really beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna continue across and I'm gonna go follow a roadway up right up around there. Killy Crank is about three miles away, so I've got quite a long way to go. So I'm going to continue that way now. I've now been walking along this road for about, well, probably about a mile and a half since crossing the lock. We're coming towards Clooney Power Station. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, the power station is a hydroelectric power station, like I was saying, there's one at Pilockery, but this one, the water comes down in a huge tunnel to power the power stations. We'll probably see the power station quite soon, but before, when the power station was being built, 
Sadly, a few people were killed well, when the uh, tunnel was being built, rather. So what they've done, they've created a monument for those people in the shape of a tunnel. There it is. So it's quite, um, it's, it's sad that people have died, but look at this. It's like a complete replica of the size of the tunnel. So it's one of the largest water tunnels in the UK. There's various tunnels, you know, that bring the water down. So it is the entrance of the road that goes down to the power station. We're going to walk under the arch or the tunnel. Have a look at it. It's amazing. So to think that a tunnel this big runs through the mountain with water flowing down inside it. And if we go around here, and there's a, so it tells you a bit about the memorial arch. If we go around here, there's a bit of information explaining a thing. There's a door there, so I expect it is locked, but you must be able to go up up inside there, there might even be a balcony on the roof, that'd be interesting. This uh, board here tells us a bit, so it shows the roots of the tunnels. There's, there's a few tunnels, there's also a few aqueducts. I don't think we're going to see any of the aqueducts today, because they're further up the other valley. We're going to get to the point where the River Tummel and the River Gary um, have their confluence. So I'm going to continue along the road that way and find the power station. So just a little way on from that arch now, we can get a rather spectacular view out across the valley. The power station is just there. Now, I don't think we're going to see it that well because the water, as I said, comes through the tunnel. But we're going to end up on the other side of the river. So when we come back, we'll see it by looking across the river. I've now left the road and I'm walking along this path. Just down there is the river tunnel. We're past the point where it joins the River Gary, so it's a much smaller river now. We're going to cross the River Tunnel on this suspension bridge. I really like uh, it's just here, sort of in the woods. It feels so sort of alone and away from everything. So we can cross this, this bridge, and then we're going to head back downstream again to the confluence. But I think we're going to see some quite spectacular waterfalls. I could certainly hear them through the trees as I walked along, but um, couldn't really see them because of the trees. But the path which we're going to follow should go closer. So as we come out, onto this suspension bridge we're going to get a really nice view down the river tumble so look at that down there so it's very calm and still at this point you can see just there the waterfalls begin and if you look that way there's some waterfalls i don't know where the road goes but the road seems to just disappear deeper and deeper into the countryside continue walking now off the bridge and then the path should get quite exciting i'm going to follow it along up off the river and we'll hopefully go and see these waterfalls so there we go and we're going to go up here now up this path so we're now continuing above the river tunnel this section is known as the Lynn of tunnel tunnel not tunnel confusing i know because there are tunnels for the water as we saw earlier this is a section now we get to the tunnel falls just below us and look at that there they are so a moment ago well, yeah, you might be able to see there's a car on the road. Yeah, see there? So I was there, but you couldn't really see the falls because of the trees. So get down here, look at that. That is just amazing. This is all National Trust for Scotland land you're in. It is free to visit. So, yeah, look at that. It's just fantastic. And then the path continues quite precariously on this edge. Feels very Scottish here with, um, you know, the heather and the trees might even see salmon jumping up up the falls. I'm going to continue along now until we get to the point where the River Tummel is joined by the River Gary. I've come further down the limb of Tummel now to these falls. I think these are the falls of Tummel, possibly not the one up there or it's all part of the same system. We're going to go down to the bottom of them in a minute. So as you can see the water flows down there. There's one bit I'm a bit um, confused about and fascinated and now it's where you, the viewers might be able to help me. Down there, it's hard to see, there's a tunnel and there's water coming out there. And so whether that's an earlier one of the tunnels for the power station, because this is like a sort of a cutting, almost sort of vertical side, and the water is down there. I don't want to put the camera over in case I drop it. Um, it fascinates me as to where that water is coming from. If we go through to here, you get a really good view now of the Falls of Tumble. Look at that, that's just amazing. Quite, it reminds me a bit of the, the stride or the strid in Bolton Abbey, which is also 
Well, that's said to be the most dangerous stretch of water in the UK. That looks pretty dangerous, but spectacular as well. What we're going to do now, though, we're just going to go along here a little bit. So I say this isn't actually the main path. The main path is up there. I came down over a little bridge to this section. So that's the dead end down there. As for this other strange, mysterious river, you can see it a bit better. It is down there. We're going to go to the end, up these little steps. And the view, the view's been like this all the way along. Just a path hugging the edge of the cliff or hill above the river. Come down here, there's a bridge over that strange section of water. And then there's another little monument which I want to show you. So you come to here, again. Hang on, you can actually see it this time, haven't you? Down there is that stretch of water. It goes along there and flows out into the main river on that bridge. If you get to this bridge, it feels a lot calmer now. The river. Have a look there. There's a little monument. That's because Queen Victoria came here and she used to enjoy coming to this spot, one of her favourite spots. And we can get another view now of the Falls of Tum from further down. So. Here's the monument, and well, the tree's kind of in the way. Uh, so, but there you go. So, the, the falls are that way. Can't be far now to where the River Gary joins, and I think the power station isn't too far around there. So, I'm going to continue around and up towards Killycranky. Not far down from where we were a moment ago, this is where the River Tunnel meets the River Gary. So, the River Tunnel continues to flow off there. The River Gary joins from here. It's not really visible but just through there is the power station you might be able to see the water flowing out from there but I'm hoping to end up on that bank over there if my planned route back to Pit Lockery works out so we will see this view from the other side later on in the video so here we are we're down at the River Gary now I've come along the path it's quite high up then it went down a load of steps and brought me to here it's very calm down here this section of the River Gary and got up ahead is the past Killy Cranky that's where the path is going to get narrower, I'm going to go back on and follow the path and we're going to walk right on up to the village of Killycranky. I'm now a bit further up above the River Gary. We come to another road bridge over it. It's very high this one. And if you wonder what's going on up there, people bungee jump off it. I'm tempted to hang around and watch someone jump off because that looks exciting. Um, the railway actually goes under there, so I've been under this bridge before, but on the train. And I had caught a glimpse of the platform and I've always wanted to do it. So uh, you know what I'll do, I'll wait and see someone jump off. And then perhaps, um, well, I won't be doing it in this video. Maybe one day come back. But it looks quite fun. I just saw a lady jump off it and it looks great fun. I've noticed other unusual things. Platforms in the trees. And um, it looks like a zip wise and what I always think of as go eight. But that, that kind of thing. Uh, one of those tree climbing courses, which looks good fun as well. So maybe one day I'll come here and do that. But as I said, not today. I found a signpost though. Oh look, there's a, a zip wire goes right across the river to over there that's exciting so this is now the real pass to Killycranky three and a quarter miles from Pit Lockery one and three quarters to Killycranky the pass gets narrower but we're gonna go right up to the village of Killycranky well, I've just come on a little way from the zip wires it's my turn to cross the river Gary um, not by a zip wire though just by a footbridge although it looks quite high I'm gonna go along there up that way to Killycranky I might come back down here, I haven't decided yet. But let's cross this bridge, which has a maximum safe loading of 10 adults. So no more than 10 adults are supposed to cross this bridge. And um, it does feel a little bit bouncy. I'm not sure how old it is. It's pretty high, not as high as the other one. But there's the bungee jumping bridge. You can see it just there. So people jump off that. If we suddenly hear like a, a scream, that'll be someone's jumped off it. And um, they, they were swinging around. It, it looks so exciting. I'm gonna have to do it one day. Um, and then look, that's the, see how the path to Killy Cranky has become narrower and more wooded. 
So I'm going to continue along the footpath that way. I can see it says a mile to Killy Cranky. I'm continuing on upstream up the River Gary. You can probably hear the sound of a waterfall. Well, just up there in the trees is the Highland Main Line. I did see a train go south. And look at this. There's a waterfall running right underneath it. So we've got a great big... Well, this is a bridge. There were some culverts earlier. And then the water flows out into River Gary. So we're going to have a closer look. A bit careful, but um, have a look at that. Let me go even closer. Always enjoy exploring closely. Let's just get inside at this one. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at that. That's amazing. What's on the other side? Really cool. I'm going to continue now to this weekend. Back on the path, same bridge. I've noticed this is the start of something really quite exciting to do with the railway. Look at this. There's another folly light tower there. So there isn't one on the other side. I suspect there might have been once. I think this is the start of something very grand. So the railway line is up there. It's obviously been designed to fit in. There's a few places like this along here. And if it's the place I'm thinking of, there should be, yeah. And it's looking likely I think there's a very spectacular viaduct coming up which will take the railway over a tributary of the River Gary. So there's another little tower up there. I could do with cutting all this down so you can actually see it. But yeah, look at this. There's a viaduct. I'm not sure this is called Killy Cranky Viaduct. Um, that's a very... Yeah, I've seen this view from on the train just higher up. I love this bit of the journey. And you look out and across the pass and the River Gary. So we're, we're literally right down below the viaduct. If I do walk back on the other side, I might get a chance to look back on the viaduct. And then I think after the viaduct, the railway goes through a tunnel and then comes out at the village of Killy Cranky, it's where the railway station used to be. There's another castellated pier there. There's a slightly curved viaduct. So it's, it's nice to get this close, but it's a shame we kind of can't really stand back because you've got the hill on that side and um, of course you've got the river on the other side. So I think, it looks like there's another stream going underneath it. I think just up here there's a tunnel and the railway goes into a tunnel. And there's a little bridge here. You can just see um, there's a bridge over a stream. Oh yeah, that railway viaduct tells you all about it. So yeah, and then I think up there in the trees goes into a tunnel. Let's have another and come back and see out into the river. So really quite a spectacular section of railway, river and foot. And now come to a viewpoint above the river Gary and the pass. You can see the viaduct where we were a moment ago. We were down there. The railway now goes for a tunnel through here. Now the other thing Killy Cranky is known for is the Battle of Killy Cranky in which the, the Jacobites lost to the commanding army chief Hugh, Hugh Mackay and um, one of the soldiers who was running away from the Jacobites leapt across the river, across the gorge to this section here known as the Soldier's Leap. So he must have ran, there's a picture so he must have ran along down there. Can you see that? Down onto those rocks and leapt across and he got away from the Jacobites, so I understand. That's quite amazing. I'm not going to try it myself though. I'm now climbing up steps out the path. Out the path, sorry. Up the path. Get a little bit puffed out, so I'm going to stop for a breather and have a look at that for a view. There's the viaduct. Tunnel is directly below me. River Gary's there, slightly hidden by an oak tree. You may as well see a bridge up there. That's the A9 road, which I have been along a couple of times. Great if a train came now, but I don't think there's one due, unfortunately. So instead, I'm going to continue on up the steps and hopefully find a visitor centre of Killy Cranky. I've reached the Killy Cranky visitor centre. I'm going to go in there and have a much needed cup of tea.
So this is the village of Killy Cranky. Very small place, there's a little village hall there and there's just a few houses. So it's not a lot here. But we're gonna go and find the old railway station, which I believe was here. So this is the road going ahead. You can see a bridge which would take the road, it still does take the road over the railway. Look at that, there's another nice waterfall going down into the River Gary. So we're gonna go up here on this bridge. We should see the site of the railway station. It was quite good, um, as you saw, I, after having my cup of tea. And HST just happened to be running late. So, meant that I was able to see it, because I wouldn't have seen that if it had run on time. The fact that that's run late should now mean the Tesco Express from Inverness is running late. So, in theory, I should be able to hang around here and see it. So, let's have a look. Firstly, that is looking towards Inverness. I think there'd have been a passing loop here, looking at the formation, and then, here is where the station would have been. I think, unfortunately, the station building has been demolished. They've built some other houses on the site, but this is the site of Cranky Station. So there would have been a passing loop. The tunnel is just up there. It's quite a short tunnel because I came over the other side. You know, it's only probably 100 yards so long. Anyway, I'm going to go over the other side and wait and see the Tesco Express come through. Well, that was good to see. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna walk down to the River Gary and then um, follow the River Gary back to that green footbridge we were at earlier. And then from there, it should be a more straightforward walk back to Pit Lockery. And um, my plan is to end the video across the river from the power station, because I talked about that fairly early on in the video and we never really saw it. So it's a shame not to see it. So we're coming down here um, that might have also been the other side, well it would have been the entrance to the other side of um, Killy Cranky Station. It's a nice little cottage, a wee cottage ahead of us on the other side of the river. So it's um, no doubt it's going to be some more, by the sound of it, some spectacular waterfalls. I think this is probably one of the best walks I've ever done. It's gone, ooh, it's really quite wide again, but look at that. Never seen this view before. That's amazing. It sort of gets this sort of rocky bit there actual path so you can see we've, we've reached the end of the pass we've passed through the pass and i'm going to pass back through the pass down there and then let's see what we've got on this side wow that's interesting look there's a concrete post does anyone know was that was there a footbridge across there once what's that be interested to know let me know in the comments anyway i'm going to follow the river probably from a bit higher above i'm going to look for a footpath and follow it back that way back to pit lockery Just walked under the bridge where we saw people bungee jumping off earlier again. Come to another bridge now. Over a little waterfall. We go over this. Always enjoy going over bridges like this. Now into the River Gary, and there's the waterfall, and up there is the railway. We continue on that way to get to the point where the River Gary joins the River Tumble. So here we are at the point where the River Gary joins the River Tummel. And as promised, there's the power station, another one designed by Harold Tarbolton, just like the one which we saw in another video at Pit Lockery. So the water comes down the tunnels in the mountains. You can hear it in there turning the turbines. I think this one's probably a bit bigger than the Pit Lockery one. And then it all flows out there, and then the River Tummel flows south. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to do this walk yourself, it's about, for me, I've probably walked about 10 miles, or I would have done. I've still got two more. Back to Pitlockery. So it's a long walk, or if you just wanted to go to the visitor centre at Killy Cranky, you can park there and just do a shorter walk. But whatever you do, it's a really 
quite a spectacular place to walk to past the Killy Franky and the Tunnel Valley. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment.